hold up, hold up, let's go back to the beginning. So there I was, right? Chilling, scrolling through Instagram, when all of the sudden, I see this. Native Instruments Remix, over $2,000 in prizes. I race to the attic with my eyes on the grand prize. But this is far more than your average remix. 193 sounds to work with. Uh, my options are not limited, so let's get to work. So many sounds, colors help. The red are drum sounds, green is basically everything else. Instruments, sound effects, etc. These are cool. Let's use those. Yeah. That came from Castle Orgasm? Orgasm. <laughs> the hi-hat sounds of Kazel Organism. I dig it. Hi-hats would be lonely without kicks and snares. Now, that one's punchy. Looking for something a little more bold. Okay, we can use that. Ah, did you catch that? Right there. We're using that. Like this. Needs a little bit more groove, you know, some syncopation. That other snare from Shy One Claps and Snares. We'll grab that. And for a second kick. So we use that one. I like that. It's real brief and super punchy. Something like this. The shaker sound. I remember this one. I'm just gonna use the whole thing. There's nothing wrong with using drum loops or loops. If you make an entire song out of pre-made loops, yeah, that's pretty shoddy worksmanship. But this is just a little sparkle. A little sparkle. Those shakers. Like this. The drums are built. I want to go back to where I originally found my inspiration for this remix, where things really started cooking. And it was this guy right here by Stu, S-T-O-O. It's fantastic. I love this part. <sighs> okay. So I chopped up the roads. You can only put so much space on a track name. Chopped roads was too big. I ended up calling it chodes. I know that's strange. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, so this guy, I chop into four sections as such. Put four chops into this drum rack. So you get this, observe. There's one, there's two, there's part of three. There's the other part of three. And four. Then what's super cool to do is take that and chop it in half. So you get that little bugger. Do that for all of them. Now, the original chord progression was cool. But I think the one I came up with is cooler, of course, because I made it. <gasps> that may sound familiar. It may even look familiar if you follow me on Instagram. Yeah, that guy. A little something like this. Now, Jason Hugh has got this bass thing going on. It's kind of spaced out and atmospheric, but within it is gold, I promise. 
Ding, ding. It really gets cool right around here. Uh. Now, it wasn't in the right key, so we had to adjust that. And out of the atmospheric madness came the bass. Beats are only so cool, but it's all about telling a story. And lately, I've just felt like life has been going extremely fast. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I want to slow down a little bit. On that note, let's get back into the production. I see you now. Let's slow it down. I've been living fast. I just want to go back. <laughs> what he meant to say was... Let's... 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 Slow it down. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Louis Duffelbags. Life is luxury. Vocals. I've been living fast, fast, fast. I just wanna, wanna, wanna go, go back, back, back. If we're going fast and we want to slow down, how is this gonna work? Let's just break this down real quick. This is the epic intro. I went from 144.98 beats per minute all the way down to 95. In this kick, Hey Jim Miss Prime. It's nice. It's nice. And then Monty Booker Snare Memories 2. So I took a loop from Ivy Lab Drums and just took a little snippet of it and it turned into this. This is Cuckoo Clo Snare. And I just did a whole bunch of chopping. She put it chopping and did this. But really the meat and potatoes came from Soda Plains like this. <laughs> I took that guitar sound, had to pitch it up nine semitones to get it in the right key, doubled it, and went even higher to get. Soda Plains also provided a chord sound. Grabbed that and made an instrument out of it to play this right here. The, the fun of that is this box 16th arpeggiator it makes it go da 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 Yeah. <laughs> what else is in here? And then there's just a whole lot of sweeps and crashes and noise things happening. That's, that's what it was. That's what it was, and that's how it was done. Now I export my final track. Whew. This is a big deal. And it would not be complete without two vital tests being performed. The first of which is the earbud test because everybody listens to music on these. Amazing. Next, I head outside for the final test. Because if it sounds good in this sound system, it's gonna sound good anywhere. Mind blown. I knew it was time to go to metapop.com, to the Native Sketches remix page, and upload my submission. And wait for the grand prize of over $2,000 worth of music production gear to roll in. Sometimes life moves too fast. Uh, let's slow it down. You can check it out right here. I'm in it fast, I just want to... 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 I'm in it fast, I